Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for supporting our channel so far. If you wanna help us continue making these videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. As promised, we're back with another video that will hopefully help a lot of Mac users out there. Now, Macs are arguably one of the best machines out there. However, like with any other PC, even Macs are vulnerable to run into unexpected situations. One such situation can be folders disappearing from your Mac. If your desktop has been completely wiped without any warning, don't panic as there's a few tactics to get your files and folders back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of these tactics so that you you can easily restore all your deleted folders and files on your desktop. Before we dive into the solutions, first let's talk about some of the reasons why desktop icons and folders usually disappear from your Mac. The most common reason is that you've accidentally deleted something from your desktop. A third party application has altered the desktop settings. In some cases, a malware attack can even cause your icons to disappear as well. A firmware update can also alter the desktop settings, resulting in a blank desktop and you might have accidentally locked the taskbar or deleted the dock from your desktop. Irrespective of the reasons, it's not a serious issue when desktop icons disappear from your Mac as you can get everything back without any hassle. Now let's quickly kick off the solutions so that you can restore all the missing files and folders on your desktop. Usually when iCloud Drive Sync is enabled on the Mac, the folders on the desktop are most likely going to go missing. However, they aren't actually deleted. Instead, they get synced up to the iCloud storage and then disappear from your desktop. So if you want to restore them, an optimal solution would be to disable iCloud Drive Sync from your desktop and folders. First of all, open up System Preferences and select iCloud. Then click Options and a pop-up will appear on your screen. You'll see different options listed here. To disable iCloud Drive Sync for desktop folders, simply uncheck the Desktop and Documents Folders option. The dock on Macs is extremely important as it is a place where you pretty much have all your applications, important files and folders and where you can access them at any point. However, many users have reported on online forums, for example, about the dock disappearing from their desktop. This usually happens when you've accidentally triggered a dock related setting. Also, the dock is set to hide automatically when it's not in use in the settings. In case you always want to see the dock at the bottom of your desktop, for example, you'll need to change change a few dock settings. Go to the Apple menu and click System Preferences. Tap on Dock and you'll be prompted to a new window display with various dock settings. If you want the dock to always appear on the desktop, uncheck the Automatically Hide and Show the Dock option and the dock will never disappear again from the desktop. You can also hide and show the dock via your keyboard keys. All that you need to do is just press Command Option D together and this will show or hide the dock. In addition to folders disappearing from the desktop Mac, the toolbar can also go missing as well. However, unlike folders, the toolbar isn't deleted. Instead, it is just temporarily hidden, especially when you've enabled, for example, things like full screen mode. So let's talk about some of the procedures to get back the toolbar on your desktop. Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Tap the general icon and a new pop-up window will appear. Look for the automatically hide and show the menu bar and uncheck this option. This will always keep the toolbar at the top of your desktop, even when you're working in full screen mode. The toolbar can also be hidden when in full screen mode. Use the cursor to take it to the top of the Mac desktop. When the menu and toolbar comes up, tap on the green colored button. This way you'll be able to exit full screen mode and you'll be able to see the toolbar again. Like the previous desktop elements that I've shown you, the download folder is also a very important element for every Mac user. By default, the folder can be found inside the dock. However, if this is removed accidentally, you can follow these couple of quick steps to bring it back onto your dock. In the toolbar, click go and tap the home option to go to the home directory. Locate the download folder inside the directory. Once found, you can just simply drag and drop it onto the dock. 
If you want to reset the dock to its default settings, all that you need to do is head to the terminal using Spotlight. Now type the command as you see on the screen. This will reset the dock to its default state. Finally, let's talk about how to restore hidden icons if you've encountered the icons disappearing from the desktop Mac situation. The truth is, icons don't disappear, but their settings are usually overwritten by a third-party application, which can result in hidden icons. You can change a few settings and all the hidden icons will restore on your desktop immediately. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the finder settings first and then show you how to fix the errors to get the icons back. Firstly, click on finder and open finder preferences. Then select the general tab on top and enable all the required options according to the icons that you want to see on your desktop and you'll be able to see all the icons on your desktop. To fix any errors, give a click on a vacant area on your Mac and head to Go followed by Utilities. Move to Disk Utilities and select your hard disk on the sidebar. Look for First Aid option and go to it. Now click Repair Disk Permission. In case Repair Disk Permission isn't working, click Verify Disk Permission and then go to Repair Disk Permission. That wraps up our guide on how to get different desktop elements back onto your desktop when everything has disappeared. We hope that you've enjoyed this video to help you restore all your essential elements back onto your Mac desktop. Before you go, we would like to thank you very much for supporting our channel so far. If you've enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below if you need any help, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit that subscribe button. Anyway everyone, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.